Perfect. We're going to go ahead and get started here. Thank you, everybody, for joining us uh, for our webinar today, Saving Time and Improving Diagnostic Confidence with Radiographs Using AI in Practice. My name is Mike Delinka. I'm the COO of SignalPet here, and I'm very excited to have joining me here uh, today is Dr. Gaines White, um, who I had the pleasure of and call a good friend um, meeting actually. Um, Wow, what was it, uh, Dr. White? I see, actually, you're on mute if you want to unmute yourself. How's that? Much better, much Thanks. better. Thanks. I can hear you. Thank so you. It, it was great. You know, we got the chance uh, to first connect with each other, actually, at VMX this past year. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously, I could go through your background, but it's on the, on the screen here, and it's quite impressive. But uh, I'd love to... Um, just introduce you to everyone and actually have the chance for you to introduce yourself. Sure. Thanks, Mike. Um, I appreciate everybody joining us today and I uh, appreciate the opportunity to talk about Signal Pets product. Uh, do my best to be mindful of your time and hopefully at the end we'll have uh, time for questions and answers and Mike will handle that very well. Um, a little bit about us. Uh, we have two practices in uh, East suburban Atlanta. One's uh, 50 years old, one's 30 years old, and they're both still growing. I hope uh, you guys are having a busy summer like we are. But um, we, we stay busy and are very fortunate in that regard. Uh, when I was at VMX uh, meeting Mike, I spent quite a bit of time at their booth and uh, was I was looking for some technology or other products that would help us speed up our practice. Uh, the timing, the, the standardization, all of the things that we want to do better. And I will say that the most impressive product on the entire floor at VMX was SignalPet. And uh, after talking with them, it was apparent to me that this product could really help easily, app easily apply to our caseload and, and improve our diagnostic capabilities. Thank you, Dr. White, and, and, I, and I appreciate you reminding me, just as, as kind of a, a starter for everyone, um, we're going to be respectful of everyone's time here today. We're going to take about 20 minutes to review SignalPet with how Dr. White's uh, hospitals utilize it, and then we're going to open up for some Q&A. Um, I'm sure all of you are familiar with Zoom, uh, having been in the COVID time for some time now, so you can always uh, just please put your questions in the box and we'll make sure to answer as many of them as we can and any that we can't at the end, we'll, we'll make sure to email responses to you. There's also gonna be a couple of poll questions during this just to get some understanding and feedback from everybody here. And actually this will be one of those first poll questions. Um, so it'd be great, you should be seeing a pop up on your screen here in just a moment. Um, how, on average, how many radiographic studies are done at your practice per week, right? That's gonna vary. You might be a single practitioner, you might be an emergency specialty, um, you might have one or two doctors or, or seven to 10. Um, that's gonna change this number here, but just great for us to see the varying difference that we have of folks on here and the amount of, of studies that they do um, every week. So this is great. Thank you everybody for, for participating and kind of adding in some of, your, some of your information for us here. This is great. So I want to get us started off, Dr. White, if you could just tell us a bit, I know you mentioned you came to our booth, you, you walked through it, but tell us what really interests you in SignalPet, but more, what are the challenges at your hospital? I'm sure most of the folks who have hospitals here have similar challenges. Yeah. What were some of those? What were you looking to solve? Well, first I was uh, walking the floor at VMX, which you know is a mile long, it seems, and one of my colleagues, uh, Said, asked if I had heard of Signal Pet, and I said, no. So he gave me a, a brief summary, and I said, I need to find these guys. So walked over to your booth, and while I was talking to my colleague, we were both complaining about the same issues that we're having, and, and a lot of this is, I'm sure, an issue in other practices, but trying to be consistent, trying to reduce subjectivity when it comes to radiographs, and trying to get new associates onboarded, getting them to standardize their processes and try to adopt our culture and our, our ways and means of doing things. Uh, there's always a need to improve our diagnostic confidence with either emergency cases or routine cases that we're working up. And another part of the issue was um, 
something you guys have helped provide is a, a solid way to communicate with the clients. You guys offered us uh, some solutions. And here we have a couple of things we've put on this slide to discuss. No, great. I, I appreciate you kind of mentioning that. And, and, and how has this really helped with, you mentioned newer DVMs, you mentioned, you know, the emotional component, um, subjectivity, exactly what were you looking to get support with there? A uh, couple of things. Uh, everyone knows what it feels like to be in a hurry, especially now these days. I don't know how many of you guys are doing curbside or having issues with COVID, but we certainly are on our side of uh, this on the, our side of Georgia and, and this part of the country. And we're finding that we just don't have the time to, to manage the cases like we would like to. Um, some of the concerns that Signal Pet has helped us with radiology is um, I'd say that with the newer associates, they may lack some confidence and they need some backup. And Signal Pet offers an opportunity for that. I'm not comfortable saying just go to Signal Pet, but we all need a little extra help and a little extra time. And if we can't find time to do rounds during the course of a case workup, that's, that's really been a problem for us. Uh, Signal Ray, the, the report component, has offered us a real time tool, 10 minute turnaround per study. And if you are trying to send out a radiology consult, my, the fastest turnaround I've ever had was within a few hours, not, uh, and sometimes even days, but um, not 10 minutes. And one of the other components is even after 30 years of practice, I don't know how many thousands of films we've taken, but there's an emotional component and a sort of a discretionary diagnosis. We all know what it feels like to see a coughing dog. And, and, and at least in our side of the country, we might think of heartworms first, regardless of whether or not that's true. And that is where the AI component really helps. I think their algorithm evaluates all aspect of a case that's submitted, helps us dramatically to reduce tunnel vision and subjectivity, and provides us with some tools that uh, has, has been of significant value to the younger associates, to the older associates. I think the younger associates uh, understand technology quite a bit better than some of us dinosaurs, but um, they have jumped right in on it and, and they're very happy with it. No, thank you for sharing that, Dr. White. It's, and it's great to hear that, as you mentioned, newer um, folks such as yourself who've been in this profession for 40 years can gain support from having that second set of eyes, uh, that emotional component, and then really support with subjectivity and, and tunnel vision. And not just on some cases, but on all of the cases that come in to have that, that second set of eyes and that confidence backing, I know, can be, can be really helpful. So. I think as part of this process, it's great for us not just to talk about what is SignalPet, but to see SignalPet in action from how you and your associates have used it in, in the hospital. Would you mind, and we're going to go through a couple of cases here, um, would you mind kind of taking us through a couple of cases and sure. how your team utilized it and, and the process? So I asked the associates to uh, come up with some cases that they thought SignalPet had been helpful and valuable with managing diagnostic and communication options. And this Chico is a good case in point. Um, I think this really helped with the associates diagnostic confidence also broaden the scope of our evaluation. And we ended up with a, a, a sort of a, a, a road that diverged in the wood when we were uh, presented with Chico, he was a, a second opinion. Uh, they had been referred to us from a local colleague for potential ACL injury. At the time, he'd had uh, been evaluated for lameness of unknown origin, medicated, restricted in activity, sort of, and came to us to work him up um, more fully. Uh, we all saw him ambulating. We all were looking towards the ACL uh, injury because we see half a dozen a day, as I'm sure many of you guys do. Um, but we were really unsure of where that lameness actually was watching him move around prior to sedating him and, and trying to localize the areas. Uh, we were certain it was in the rear limbs, but we couldn't quite tell what we were looking at. So we have a, a study that's performed here on both rear limbs, uh, lateral VD, and also uh, caudal pelvis and spine. So we were focusing on orthopedic concerns. 
we were looking at this case as if he was going to be the typical American bulldog confirmation, uh, straight legs and, and, and thick musculature and a, a very commonplace trauma in our practice. Uh, but we ended up getting a completely different diagnosis at the end of the day. Um, you can see, Mike, is that the first film? Yes. You can go to the, you can see on the right-hand side, Michael talked more about how the report is, is provided, but you can see the, the confidence level with the bars. It's almost like a cell phone uh, signal, but you can see the green and the red. And then on the bottom part of the screen, you can see the components there. And Mike can describe those for you. But uh, we had two knees, uh, VD, pelvis, and this is where, this is where I think Signal Pet had uh, uh, on the next one, Mike. Sure. Yeah, signal pet uh, there. You know, obviously, I'm looking at the confirmation. I don't like the way his tibias look. I don't like the way his distal femurs look. I don't like the knees. But he's under full sedation, and we were not able to palpate any anterior drawer. We did not get any ortolani sign on the hips. Um, with his age and his presentation and his breed, et cetera, et cetera, I consider him at risk for an ACL tear, you know, now or in the future, period. But uh, our associate, one of our youngest associates, was looking at the uh, report because it's um, out of the x-ray room, back in the office. He's preparing this to talk to the client. And if you look on the right-hand side of the report, you'll see the red bars indicating what I believe we would have found eventually. But it, it removed the orthopedic component of potential lameness and discomfort and moved it into more of a soft tissue issue. And, of course, nobody's missing the family jewels there. And he's sort of young, uh, amorous-minded uh, dog. But we ended up uh, moving towards more of an evaluation of the prostate. And we also were able to go back with the owner and ask a little uh, bit deeper components in the history. And we found out that, indeed, Chico had been climbing the fence, where he probably did uh, develop some injury to the knees, but no tears. And with that prostate on palpation rectally and abdominally, we were able to, and with ultrasound too, we were able to move into that diagnostic mode. We were able to uh, talk to the owner and, and move in a little different direction. Um, Mike, we can go to the next slide, I think. And one thing about this, I feel like it was a great experiential opportunity for the team for us not to predetermine a diagnosis and work our way through some of the other components that, that showed in the outcome. And as my cast here, uh, we believe it's a benign prostatitis. We evaluated him for brucellosis. We evaluated him for uh, his, his normal clinical labs. We have talked to the owner about orchidectomy. And the client is very happy and hopefully the outcome, but I'm pretty sure Chico's not going to be happy with the outcome. Because <laughs> he, is, he is scheduled to lose the jewels this week. Thank you, Dr. White, for, for huh? For sharing this one, and I think this shows a lot of a lot of great stuff really here, which was in a ten, short ten minute time period, how yourself, your associates, a team were able to not only get a report and a write up, but also get all of those test results there, and then utilizing all of the signalment that you have at hand, how you're going to work up that case, and actually very quickly while the client was still in the exam room, to be able to come back and kind of push forward with what additional diagnostics you were going to do, what plan of action, and and I think that really probably in a case like this adds to that client satisfaction, client compliance in that, in that process. Absolutely. And he has a copy of this report uh, almost in real time. We were able to email it to him and he, we're doing full curbside. So he was able to view this in the car, which is uh, easy enough for us to, uh, to apply to him. And he was, as I mentioned, he was quite happy. Perfect. So, so I know you've kind of, again, as we mentioned, been in, been in the veterinary industry. You, you, you've, this has been your life pretty much. Uh, yes. And, and you've seen how radiology, how radiology has progressed over, over the decades, the years. How, how did that process work with your hospital speeding up that? And how was kind of signal pet just a, an actual easy integration into what was the next steps that you, you were looking to take? Well, I, it's, I got my first job when I was uh, 12 in our family veterinarian's office. So I've been doing this for a number of years and 
I don't know how many of the, the folks that are on with us today remember the tanks and the emulsion films and the absolute terrible quality and reproducibility that, and the time consuming component that it took over that, that time frame. And to my knowledge, digital radiology has been around maybe 15 years, certainly a dozen years or more because we've had a, a system that we've been using for that amount of time. And that was a, a light year, an exponential leap forward in, in how we were able to utilize radiology more often as a diagnostic and increase value to the client as well as you know, increase our own confidence. And then I think the next jump has been with what I've seen is with SignalPet. And um, that 10 minute turnaround has been unbelievable. The uh, ability for us to, to put together a medical treatment plan in a very short period of time has been extremely helpful. Clients understand the value. They see something in front of them. They can either have an email or a printed copy. Uh, it's, it's, it's quite interesting how, how fast we can go with, with this situation now. And in, in the past, our DICOM providers have been, have been good, but we've had a few of them over the years and they were, you know, clunky and slower and more difficult and multi-stepped and we just weren't able to get where we needed to be. And um, that's, that's one particular reason why I think that you guys have, have got a fantastic product. No, thank you, Dr. White. And for us, really, the goal here is to add value to the everyday working clinician and, and, and be supportive of the entirety of their workflow uh, process um, from A to Z. And we'll, and we'll go through that. And I think you've mentioned a number of times, and it would be great to showcase now in, in a case, which is you've talked a lot about how this helps yourself and your doctors with confidence and speed and um, simplicity. But you've talked a lot about how your team utilizes this in actually adding value to the client via those quick turnarounds and that, and that reporting. It'd be great if we could kind of go through this case of Remington Bear um, and talk okay. about um, how it supported you and the team, but even more so how it supported the client. You know, I'm sure everyone on this call has had those tough clients, those ones where obviously their, their, their pets are their, are their children and, and they care that much, which makes sense. And if you could take us through Remington Bear, that'd be sure. uh, Remington is a, he's an 11 year old, hyperactive, spastic poodle, never sits still. So when the owner texted me early in the morning, their clients and friends texted me early in the morning uh, that uh, he was straining to urinate and she saw some blood uh, emanating from his stream. She was in the panic mode. And the particular issue is that they live on the other side of Atlanta now, 40 miles or more. And if any of you guys are in the metropolitan area, that may as well be on the other side of the country. So she was uh, quite flustered and upset by the time she got to us. And we were able to take him in, evaluate the case. We can uh, move to the, to the uh, films if you wish. And it's fairly easy to see the, the star-shaped ladder calculi that, that everyone is not, no one's going to miss that. At least I hope they don't. And our first film, which was overexposed, that stone could actually not be seen. Uh, we didn't include it here, and I don't believe the VD made it into this um, series either, but you see on the right-hand side, on this screen, you see a couple of the components that would absolutely be of concern, maybe not the emergent concern with the, the hematuria, but if you look at his mid-back and the spine, you see the spondylosis, you see the narrowing disc space, you see how easy that is to read on the report that can at least move my thoughts and move my eyes and move my, my brain away from just that star-shaped finding. And another component of this on the, the next screen is that I uh, believe that we have a concern with, I'm not sure if it shows on this report, but maybe on the bottom screen, whether or not there's a urethral calculus that is superimposed over the, the uh, orthopedic component of that back end. And what we're able to do is it's not uh, urethral calculus down by the os penis, but up in the, uh, near the bladder neck into the, the uh, urethral area there surrounding the pelvis. If, um, like I said, I don't think the VD made it onto this slide, but uh, what we're able to do is rapidly evaluate this patient's needs, get a quick turnaround with a report that the client had in their hands, 
by the time and you can see with what Mike's showing here, you can see what that report looks like. And they can understand the gravity of the situation. Um, at that particular moment, he was not a surgical candidate, though he could have been at any moment. And based on the owner's decision, we are and being successful with medical management at the moment. And um, I will say that uh, sometimes those stones show up and sometimes they don't. And what we were able to do with this particular case was get the client the information they could see and understand and have something in their hand at home, 40 miles away, that they can say, what did Dr. White say? What did Dr. White say? What did Dr. White say? And we can refer back to that report and they can recall all of our conversation. And, and Dr. White, I think it's, it's what's so great about, about this as, as well is that we see that having that standardized report process there for the client really helps with that client compliance, especially in a situation like this where they decided not to maybe move forward with the specific action at the time, client transparency, yes. client satisfaction. And they're actually walking away from this when they're leaving the hospital from the room and not receiving this later or at a later date. Or in this case, obviously, it's emailed directly to them while they're out in the parking lot waiting there and it's really easy and simple to use similar to blood work and and how mm -hmm. a client would get that back and it adds that additional um understanding of what's going on in that case that we see really as you've mentioned your clients just love receiving it and also clients like to know that your hospital is using the most advanced technologies out there to support the well-being of their of their loved you know pets and i, and I think that's that's um Another great, great one. So I I, I, I would agree with you on that, Mike, and, because the, yeah, the issue that we have, like with uh, telemedicine, many clients have embraced that and embraced this as well. And, and they, I fir firmly believe that they see a sense of value. They don't even ask what the cost is. And that's rather unique these days. <laughs> that almost never happens, right? So we talked a lot about, um, Signal Pet, we've gone through now kind of the reporting component, how your team's utilized it, the confidence it's added, the, um, you know, all of the different steps that you've got there that add, add benefit to that second set of eyes, quick turnaround time. But as we mentioned before at Signal Pet, we want to help be that entirety of that radiology workflow process. And, and we recognize that there is going to be very much in a time and a place for a radiology consult on a, a small percentage mm -hmm. of cases that that needs to be done for many reasons, right? Maybe additional signalment, maybe the team needs support on uh, next steps. Maybe uh, the client is demanding it for whatever that, that reason, that reason is. Um, would you kind of go through with us? And that's one of the things that we wanted to do is help make it as easy as possible. When you get that AI component that helps you on almost all of your cases and, and you're able to move forward, but on those that you need some additional support, you're able to do that through SignalPet. Um, can you talk a little bit about that process with using sure. our consultation service? You know, Absolutely. SignalPet AI and the consult together when needed, if, that would be wonderful. Well, we had a, a, a great example of that this past week. Uh, we've used probably at least three other uh, radiology consult services over the years. And they have not been well integrated with any of our systems, even though IDEX and folks with Cornerstone might do a little differently, but there's Antec and then there's a handful of other ones. But um, we always had uh, a multiple number of steps and, and rewriting reports and rewriting findings and rewriting questions. And then SignalPet has come along and if uh, on the screen, you guys may have seen prior, there is a request consult button and that's really all you need. They have the AI component already in there. You, you fill in the blanks, put in the pertinent case information, questions and such. And within, I believe, uh, 24 hours, it's a turnaround from board certified radiologist. What I particularly like, which has been absent in other radiology consults in many cases, has been a, a somewhat of a diagnosis, a plan of action, recommended steps moving forward and possibly even some treatment options. And, and that's, that's for us to decide, obviously. The radiologist has not put their hands on the animal, but many of the reports that I've seen over the years have been short, quick, 
commentary and that's all you get. And I don't necessarily perceive a lot of value uh, in, in a situation like that when I'm looking for answers that I don't have. And I feel like that has been a uh, significant value signal that's added. Thank you, Dr. White, and, and, and I very much agreed. And a lot of that component behind this is, is a lot of market research into what exactly clinicians are looking for to gain support in that standardized reporting process. So you can actually get a, a, the same type of response every time that you do need when you have those very difficult corner cases to send out, you, you do get that. The, the, the summary slide Mike and I were working on, I think is, you know, not something I really need to repeat. I think the most important aspect of this is how it has helped us standardize with different levels of experience, different ways of communicating with clients, different uh, personalities involved with our associates. And, and one of the keys is, is having an ability for us to go to a signal pet report or to our, our laboratory diagnostics. But on the signal pet report, we know what the conversation was to a degree with the client, with that associate, if they're on vacation or if they're not available or it's their day off or whatever, and the, the client's calling back to discuss something else about it. So that really has helped with standardization. That, that's a very strong feature for us. Thank you, Dr. White. And, and what, I'm, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna have one more poll question and then we have a number of questions and answers. I wanna thank you very much for for taking the time. We're gonna take a few more minutes together to answer a few questions. So we're going to have one more on your screen now will be another poll question that's popping up. We have a lot of people who are on this call. It'd be wonderful if you could just tell us what are the top ways you've heard a lot of how Dr. White's hospital has utilized and gained benefit from uh, SignalPet and AI. What are the top ways AI supported radiology would benefit um, your practice? Those of you who see um, in front of you on your screen, you see a pop up there to, to answer a poll question. Um, be great for you to, to jump in there. Let us know some of the ways you can select multiple ones in this case. Um, obviously, maybe all of them are things that would be helpful for you in your, in your hospital. So we're going to give just a moment here to, to have folks answer that, and then we'll jump into, into um, some Q&A here, which we've got a number of great, great questions that are, that are coming up. So give just a couple more, couple more minutes here, or seconds, I should say, to let everybody jump in and see some different ways of, of how it could support. So I see a lot of increasing diagnostic confidence, reducing subjectivity and tunnel vision, enhancing quality of care and service, which is just something that all of us want to do a, a, across the board. Hey, Mike, could I make a comment that uh, just came to me? Uh, the, when I was talking with you back in February, January, February, you know, it, it's safe to say that um, the platform was sort of in its infancy. And over the last few months, I've seen you guys, you know, grow, add features, add components, add diagnostic components. Uh, would you touch on some of the things that uh, you guys have seen over the last six months, the number of cases that you've downloaded and how, how you've generated more confidence in your database? Sure, that's, that's a great question. So, um, you know, for us, this has been really something that we, we have found, and I'm, I'm gonna end this poll here just so we can, we can move forward a little bit, but we've, we've found that um, there is a real need out there um, for support in, in the radiology arena. And we've seen hundreds and hundreds of hospitals come on board around the country and around the globe as, as clients. And what's a great part about this is everybody who I've met, and I'm sure you're, you're the same, who are in the veterinary arena, it's, it's what they love. It's, 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 it's their life. They eat, breathe, and, and sleep veterinary medicine. And this is really a way to support the future of veterinary medicine, because when everybody's participating and as more and more data comes in, all of those systems, all of those capabilities become smarter and, and smarter over time. And I actually am going to bring this, this slide up for a quick second just to show. So a lot of times when you talk about AI and radiology, people do think that it's just a magic pill that solves everything for them. And obviously, that's not the case. As you've mentioned, it's a great tool in your toolbox when assessing radiographs. And these are all of the different areas that we've worked on to actually create different test results, or as you saw those greens and red bars on the side, that come in that 10 minute time period. And what we wanted to do is really focus on that GP and ER arena setting, 
what are the most common reasons that radiology is done? What are the most common abnormalities and how can we support individuals with that? And what can we do from there? And so the systems are always getting better. Um, we're always working on expanding those capabilities and technologies um, into many different arenas. And so for us, uh, this is just the beginning. We're really looking forward to, to a, whole, a, whole lot, um, a whole lot more. So I wanna just touch on a couple of, of, of things. We're actually going to be there, and thank you for segueing that, Dr. Wright. We're gonna be expanding these test lineups as, as everyone can see here, and we'll get great feedback from the thousands of veterinarians that are using SignalPet now, as what are the next most important and most commonly seen test results that we can provide to everybody in their practice. One of those main areas that we're excited that's gonna be released here uh, in the near future is going to be support with dental radiographs. Um, we've gotten a lot of feedback from clinicians on wanting additional support with, with that. And, and one of the main things, and I have to say, when, when you're dealing with AI and medicine, continuous accuracy is key. We are always assessing that. We are always improving upon it. We've got an incredible medical team at our disposal, including GP, ER docs, radiologists, specialists who help to create that AI, who help to review that accuracy and ensure that we're always in improving that. So we're going to jump in here to some questions and answers. Um, what I do want to mention for a second is thank you everybody for joining. Um, if you're interested in learning more, if you're interested in trying this out, we do actually have a free one-week trial. It's exactly how Dr. White came on board, tried it out for free for a week. There's no strings attached. There's nothing to it. All you got to do is, as you see there, go to signalpet.com backslash request the demo. Just put in some of your information and one of our team will be happy to walk through that really short, um, brief process. The setup takes five minutes, just helping your team understand how to utilize it. Um, and we'd be happy to do that. 